Hey guys, so this is part two of the Greenway High School in Minecraft series. As a reminder, in part one, if you've not seen it, I covered the first and second floors of Greenway High School. In part two, I will be covering uh, the third floor and the auditorium of the school. I think, in my, in my opinion, the auditorium is my favorite part of the school. And I think is the best part of the school that is, I consider to be a huge accomplishment uh, when it comes to building the school. It doesn't fully encapsulate the true beauty of the auditorium in real life, but I think it does, I think I did a good job of it in Minecraft. Uh, uh, just to remind you again that when I originally recorded this, Part 1 and Part 2 was one full video, but I decided that it was too long to post as one video, so I cut it into two parts, and so that's why there's not that great of a transition, but Part 2 uh, will pick up right where Part 1 left off. And so I hope that you enjoy Part 2 and that you stick around for more parts to come out. And so I apologize for this awkward transition. Uh, but please enjoy part two of this video series. Uh, so let's go up to the third floor now. Let's go up to the third floor. So the third floor was mostly middle school. Because in our, in our high school, it housed grades 5 through 12. But grades 5 through 8, the middle school, was pretty much still their own world. They were mainly kept to the third floor. They had their own bell schedule, and so high schoolers, middle schoolers, never really crossed paths. And I like that they had it that way, because the school I went to before this housed 7th through 12, and so it was weird as a 7th grader crossing paths and going into the same classrooms and same areas as a 12th grader. So I like the way they had it set up at Greenway. So up in here, this was my science teacher's classroom. I had him when I was a freshman and a junior and for physical science and I'm having for uh, college chemistry, which that was a hard class. Yeah, so this was his classroom and back in here was uh, one of our science labs, which, you know, was had stations of individual like counter area with uh, like sinks and stuff. But yeah. So this was our lab. So this is where we would do more lab related things. So then coming back around here, it would lead back out to the hallway. And then this was just another, uh, I think this, this is just another storage room that the science teachers use to keep their equipment and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, this was the men's bathroom on the th third floor. It's funny cause because you had the second and third floor, the bathrooms were in the same spots, except they're reversed. So the floor below us, this would act, so the women's bathroom is actually the floor below us. And the men's bathroom is on the opposite side of the school on the second floor. So sometimes, Pam will worry in the school, it might be easier going up to the third floor if you're a guy than going all the way around to um, the other side. So this bathroom, I've been in this bathroom. And then in here is where I have, is where the lights are controlled for the third floor. So this controls the west and northwest side of the building. So if I turn it off, then it turns off the west hallway lights. Oh shoot. There's a red, there's redstone that goes right over above that. And so the trap door, the bad thing I realized it wasn't until after I did it is that it triggers the trap door, but it's not a big deal. So let's see here. So then this classroom was, this was, this was, a, this classroom was set up also as sort of a lab. Uh, I never had this science teacher, but this was also set up as sort of another lab classroom. I don't know, I actually don't know he talks, I never had him. And then this classroom, I had biology in 10th grade in this classroom. 
Mrs. Barterfield, uh, I really liked her. I thought she was a great teacher. And she's a very honest, uh, straightforward person who doesn't take crap. So I like that about her. Yes, yeah, so I had biology in this classroom. And then, so these, so there's really only three high school classrooms up on this floor, which is the science classrooms. Which actually, I'll talk a bit more in the other part, but the science classrooms were actually in a different part of the school at one point. Because, oh, also to give more history about my school. So we have, um, in the nearby town of Grand, of Grand Rapids, we have Itasca Community College, which now is... I don't know. It's it's, some, it's not it's not ICC anymore. It's not Tasman Community College, but it will be until the day I die. So before their current location was built, the the community college was actually housed up here on the third floor of the high school until like 1966. So for like 40 years or so, this third floor was actually used as the junior community college, but now it's used as the, but now for the past decade, it's been used as the middle school area. So this classroom was a middle school science classroom, which I think this might actually be the biggest individual classroom in Greenway. It's huge. I've never been in there myself, but actually it might be two classrooms now. It might actually, mm, I don't know, but what's one big classroom at one point for sure. So this classroom, so this used to be a computer lab, my freshman and sophomore year, but then after my sophomore year, it was turned into a middle school classroom. But I kept it as a computer lab in Minecraft because I wanted there to be one computer lab. Cause there's just something so sort of nostalgic 2000s reminiscent about computer labs in middle and elementary school. So I kept it like this. But at one point, I believe this was the original library of the school because at one point, above the door was engraved library for the longest time. But then, but then they like, like patched over that or whatever. But this was the library at one point, I believe. So all these classrooms are middle school classrooms. So I never really went in them. So there's not really much to tell or show about them. They're all just, they're all middle school classrooms. So they, they have grades five through eight. And then these are the doors to the auditorium, which we will get to. Yeah, and then, well, this is the very center of the school. This is the very center. So this, you're at the very center of the school right now. And then I'll also, oh, I'll have to show you, this will, this will be part, of the, the part two of the video. Is the fourth floor. There's the fourth floor that students cannot go to, but it, there's an office up there. And I've been up there once before because my principal let me up there because I don't know why he just let me up there so I was very interested in one day he was like and it was like after it was after a band concert one night me me it was me and my mom and sister and one after a band concert he was like he was like you want to see the fourth floor so it shows fourth floor but I'll show that in the second video yeah but this whole wing again is all just middle school classrooms my class advisor each class had its own advisor that would help plan class events such as prom. Her name is Julie. I love her very much. This was her classroom. She taught sixth grade, I believe. So if I went to middle school in Greenway, I would have had her as a teacher. This is her classroom. Then in the hall, of course, is the women's restroom. Uh, and then this just leads back down to the second floor like that. You know what? Why take stairs? Just jump over. Just jump over. Yeah. But anyways, now I think... I think now is the time that I will show you the auditorium. Which actually will go back down to the second floor. Show you. And then... Oh, before that. So this area... So this room underneath the staircase used to be the copier room. But then when I was a senior in high school, my business teacher started, uh, my business class, we started Raider Retail, which was a retail store where we sold 
snacks, drinks, um, and clothing, uh, and for, like, actual money. Because there's another, there's another school store where you'd earn pride bucks for, and you could spend your pride bucks there. But this was actually a retail store where we used actual money. So I was part of the group that started that. And they even have a sweater that says Raider Retail established in 2021. So then when we over so when we took over that space, then the computer, the printers and stuff were just put out here in this corner in the hallway. But anyway, so finally, huh, time to show you the auditorium, which I consider to be the favorite part of the school, both in real life and in Minecraft. So you walk in and you have the auditorium. It's big and beautiful. Well, especially more in real life. But it goes all the way up to the third floor. It is... It's, it's kind of like... Two and a half stories tall. Because... Because you start on the second floor. It goes up a little bit. And then... And then you walk down. And then it slopes down. But yeah. So you have... Let's go up on the stage. And originally... Before the gymna before we had the gymnasium, so pre nineteen fifties, the stage was actually doubled as the gymnasium. So you can see in real life where there were basketball hoops, where the like where the sort of arms of where the basketball hoop and the backboard would go on. So you can still see that. But this this was originally used as the uh, the gym, too, which is very interesting. It was used as gym, it was used as an auditorium, and it was used as a lecture hall for the junior community college back in the day. So it had many purposes. But yeah, so I just love it so much. I, it's so beautiful in real life. In real life, there on each side, on this wall and on this wall, there are these huge murals that were done in like the 1940s um yeah it's absolutely stunning there but in real life they these windows they have big green curtain they have big green curtains on them and they keep them shut at all times but yeah this auditorium so just kind of gonna float around here and so the auditorium it does go up to the third floor and i remember for grand march before prom we start up on the third floor and we make our way down to the stage. And I was also on our winter homecoming court. And so we'd start up here on third floor and the candidates would walk down to the stage. And me and my friend Rebecca, we were partnered up together, so that was great. I didn't win, but the person who did win, I'm glad if it wasn't me, it was them. So the auditorium, I think, in real life can see about 15 hundred people which is almost the amount of people that live in Colerain. uh but yeah so i think it's very beautiful i this i was so proud of myself when i this was one of the first parts of the school that i built i just had to build this because the rest of the school is sort of like based around the auditorium so i want to clear the auditorium first <laughs> And this is the, like, projector booth and sound booth where, like, videos and audio are controlled from. Yeah, but it's just a very beautiful space. I love it so much. Um, I'll show that area up there. There there are catwalks, but there aren't catwalks like that in real life. But I'll show that in part two of this video. And this area back here is just storage. Just storage area where they keep, like, homecoming props and decorations and whatnot. But the lights for this auditorium, so there are these overhead lights, which are just controlled by individual levers on each of the th on each of the light rails, whatever. But I put lights in the floor because it really makes a big difference, in my opinion. So I put lights in the floors too, and then so then all these individual lights. I have to individually turn off these lights. And then those, so then the actual ceiling lights that are in the ceilings, so I'll go in here. So you turn these off with this lever. So it turns off the individual ceiling lights, including these big ones here too. And then the lights, there's also lights in the floor, 
So then you turn off the four lights too. Not in real life. There's not lights in the stage or in the floor in real life. But in Minecraft, I had to add that because it gets the four lights really do add a lot more light. So I went in there and put lights in the floor. So yeah. So I think that's that's a very cool aspect about redstone in the school that I like. Yeah. But when I turn all the lights off, it goes it does get very dark in here. Yeah. And I suppose um I show you and then the auditorium. Well these rooms I know I think maybe not both, but at least one of these because the school is basically mirrored. The auditorium it's basically it's it's a mirrored image. One half is the same as the other half. So these rooms I think are used as like practice sort of because we have like nursing like high school like college like in school college nursing classrooms so these are used for that practice area and stuff like that so the so the side of the auditorium just leads back out to here yeah but yeah but that's that is part one of this and I'm sure the video I think the video is probably about like 35 40 minutes um, I could have made this into three parts but listen if you've stuck through the video um, for the whole thing so far I very much appreciate that and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the first part of this what will be most likely a two-part series uh, in the next part I will show the fourth floor and then I will show the uh, the additions to the school that include the cafeteria, the gymnasiums, the band rooms, the locker rooms, uh, the fourth floor. I think I already said that, and the uh, and the underground tunnels. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like, much appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Go watch the rest of my videos. I have more than just Minecraft. I have audio podcast. I have videos of of UMD's Marching Man and Pit Band. I have videos reading stories. I have video. I have blog like videos. Uh, I just I have a multi lip syncs. I have lip syncs. I've done drag. So just go check out all my content. This isn't just a one content channel, but Minecraft will forever be. Uh, sort of the basis of why I built this channel. I will continue to play Minecraft. I recently just celebrated my 10 year anniversary with Minecraft. So I'm thinking about hopefully soon doing a video on that and just sort of going through sort of uh, pretty much an overview of all my Minecraft experience and builds, which includes starting off on my iPod Touch fourth generation which I still have, which hasn't been updated in eight years. So that will be fun going back and seeing what older Minecraft looked like. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you play Minecraft, keep playing it. It's a great game. You can do so many things on it. If you don't have Minecraft, I highly recommend getting it because your imagination is only what limits you. Creative, survival, you can do so many things. Reflect reality, have your own fantasy world, or if you want to do survival, it's all up to you. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And I hope that your new year goes fantastic. And that 2024 is an awesome year and will be filled with more content from me.